how is it going guys it's eclipse here and welcome to today's world of tanks console video where we look at probably one of the funner tanks within world of tanks and that is the t54 lightweight the tier 9 tech tree light tank for the russian line it is actually so so fun to play um, it really does do everything that you'll probably want in a light tank it's not your traditional one it has this fairly meaty hull which means that you actually weigh quite a lot and when you make a build that i basically have yeah your opponents if they're playing in a light tank will definitely fear you now what this tank kind of suits is basically a playstyle where you're super aggressive because yes you've got the armor yes you have that alpha damage you know 250 is certainly more than some of the light tanks um, although some of them predominantly have auto loaders which isn't so fun if you're coming up against those amx 1390s and if they manage to put all of their rounds into you you probably aren't going to have fun but that's where the ramming build comes into effect and because you have that t54 hole you are able to use the spool liner to basically deal 50 percent more like or less damage and then if you whack in the commander perks which also reduce that um, in the form of a controlled impact reduce the damage that you take by 20% and increasing the damage that you do by 20% effectively it's like dealing 40% more damage or the person that you're going to be hitting you'll be getting 40% more damage than you would have uh, if you didn't actually have it on if that makes sense or the difference between your damage that you take and their damage that they take yeah it's definitely a really really good perk and when you're playing in a tank like this it is absolutely perfect um, certainly is a tank that you want to be playing gets decent hit points certainly more than most of the light tanks at this tier i don't know if i've got another one in the garage that we can kind of have a look at um, i guess we will try you can see it's pretty much just a better version of the wz132a even though you know there is nothing really substantially better about the wz obviously we are using the speed boost equipment which takes out that vision range which means that you're probably not going to be able to spot as effectively but because you're going faster you probably aren't going to get hit as often and it means you can recrest that ridge faster and so yeah you can kind of get more up close and personal and that is all about the t54 i think it's enough talking about the tank let's actually get into some gameplay show you exactly how it plays and why world of tanks becomes much more fun when you play tanks like this right then guys our first gameplay is here on canals we're going to be playing in the t54 lightweight obviously uh, we're going to be going through all of the things about the tank and why you definitely want to be able to pick this one up when you jump in the game there will be two gameplays that you can actually see within this video uh, the second one is a really really fun one but this is just kind of showcasing exactly what the tank can do right off the bat and hopefully it's an enjoyable watch for you guys obviously let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the t54 lightweight have you actually given it a go have you tried the t100 lt the tier 10 because i'm yet to get it and i know it certainly is a fun one talking about the t100 lt here it is and yes we are going to ram him uh, for a little bit of damage we didn't really take very much but we dealt a decent amount back to him not a substantial huge amount but yeah certainly enough to kind of talk about uh, Hawk W30, you know, we were going fairly slow. We still did 180 damage to him from a, a small ram, and you can see that we're actually bouncing shots here in the T54 lightweight. And trust me, in any other light tank in the game, you're probably not going to be seeing that very often unless you look at something like an Alpha Clarung's Panzer Panther and they hit the side at a ridiculous angle. Uh, yeah, the T54 lightweight in the name, of course, has the T54 hole, and so you do have the chance of bouncing. Uh, those rounds that come into you yes you have also the speed and hence why we're using the speed boost equipment is to basically boost that speed up to as fast as possible whilst also having the reduction in the amount of damage that we're going to be taking if we do ram and hopefully we get a nice ramming damage later on i don't know if we will um, but i know in the second gameplay we 100 percent do uh, whereas this one we certainly get a little bit anyway um, especially against one of the opponents I definitely didn't think I would be getting very much damage against. Now in this game, how is it going so far? Well, you can see that the majority of their team have gone on the right-hand side uh, from where we are now, and a little bit of the team is kind of sat in their base, you know, defenders and stuff. Don't know quite why the defender is sat in the base, but 
you know, you just have to adapt to the situation. And so it is time to help our team over here. If we don't manage to do that properly, well, we're going to get stumped by the enemy team getting sausaged, uh, sandwiched. But yeah, hopefully we can uh, pull something out of the bag as I decide I'm just going to try and ram the Eshu uh, who's been taken out earlier in the game. Uh, what we're trying to do now is actually move forward towards the enemy and with the 75 kilometers an hour top speed of the tank, that really is not a problem to be honest. Now we haven't done a whole lot within like the last two minutes since the beginning of the game but what we d can do now is put an up some pressure on some of these opponents you see that I'm auto aiming yes it's not particularly the best thing that you can possibly do but on that kind of situation where you're only really trying to crest the ridge slightly so you can put a round in you don't want to be sat there for ages and ages and sometimes you have to think about that in the game is it worth you know aiming and yes 100% getting the shot of damage um, but potentially being sat up there for a lot longer where opponents can turn around and shoot you uh, it's that sort of thing that you want to be thinking about when you're playing World of Tanks and so yeah I think that that's something uh, most people don't talk about is yes you can get damage but what is it going to cost you have to think about that in the back of your mind um, because not all damage is equal and if you can be dealing damage without receiving any or potentially getting one shot of damage but taking 700 well of course it's not going to be worth taking that one shot of damage for the sake of losing half your health that's one thing you have to be aware of in the T-54, but what makes this tank completely fun is, yes, you get the weird bounces, yes, you get that speed, yes, you get the kind of power of the tank, and also you get to do things like this, where you just think, how on earth did I just do 357 damage to an atomic straight through the front <laughs> uh, by ramming him? Well, that's just uh, wargaming things, I think, but... Yeah, picked up a nice bit of chunk of damage on him, certainly wouldn't have been able to take him out that quickly and potentially died if I didn't actually manage to ram him there. And so now it is our job as light tanks to go and try and reset the cap, but don't worry, the Object 261 steals our thunder and decides to take out one of the uh, Emiles, which I was actually really looking forward to ram because that is just a, a paper tank. But unfortunately we don't manage to do that, we bounce another round and it's just bouncing round after round in the T-54. Don't get too used to it though because yeah, you do get penned quite an awful lot. Uh, Leopard thinks he's being funny but absolutely not, take him out of the game as well and we've managed to pick up 3,600 damage. Is it a fantastic game in the T-54 lightweight? Well, probably not, uh, but it definitely shows you what it's like when you put on those ramming equipment and when you have a decent game. Considering we didn't actually ram anyone that was particularly that heavy um, or particularly that light, we still did a decent amount from ramming and we still came top of the team. 1,487 base experience, 3,593 damage, three enemies destroyed and I'm sure um, as a platoon we did a fairly decent impact on the team taking out those uh, last couple at the end and going back to reset the cap which is always good. Um, but yeah, let's move into the next gameplay and go into just a little bit more of a reason when you're playing solo why the T-54 lightweight can still carry. Right, so talking about carrying, El Alamein. This was a pretty decent map for the tank. You know, you've got lots of open space and it's a particularly great one. Um, in my opinion, I think it's one of the better maps within World of Tanks console. Got a little bit for everyone. I feel like every single class has somewhere at least to go and feel somewhat confident if you pick the right place. Obviously, if you're picking a place that's terrible for your tank, well, no matter what map you're playing, you're going to do worse in it. Um, but yeah, for the majority, if you pick the right kind of position, you'll have an okay game. Now what you see me wanting to do is go over to the left hand side, no team support, don't go on your own over on one flank because that's a recipe for disaster. What we're going to do now however is push the cap circle. No, I'm not a capper, um, but what I am trying to do is just um, entice the enemy to kind of make a mistake, spot on the opponents for my team to be able to deal damage to of course, which is what light tanks are designed for, um, or at least supposedly designed for within World of Tanks, but often that's not the case and lots of the time they're just snipers, um, but what you can see me doing is just continually uh, putting some rounds in, move back before the Tiger 2 unleashes one, see the artillery round coming in, kind of just have to hope that he doesn't manage to hit us. Uh, 
um, but now it's time to just keep moving and try and auto aim people because that's what the T54 lightweight is all about uh, hitting those ridiculous uh, on the move shots um, so far we've had a decent impact in the game I mean we've spotted the opponents we've kind of held them back it kind of the time to spot is always kind of difficult because yeah if you go in and you try and be super aggressive at the beginning of the game often you get taken out you take a, a hit early on in the game and light tanks are the most useful at the end of the game which most people don't really talk about is yeah you can be a super aggressive light tank you can spot the whole enemy team at the beginning but if no one can take a shot at them then what's the point um, and that is kind of something I think people need to talk about when we're actually uh, looking at light tanks because and how to actually play them properly. Um, but yeah, this one is definitely um, a tank I was enjoying. You can see the, the problems with not putting on vertical stabilizers as well with the T-54 lightweight and having this build rather than the other one having missed the first two shots on the T-30 there. Um, yeah, that last one was just my bad aim. Um, but now we're in a bit of a sticky situation because the T-30 is not going to get spotted by anyone else unless it's us um, and potentially that heavy tank that's moving up. So it means that he could potentially, if I get spotted, get hit for a nice 700 chunky amount of damage that you definitely don't want to be taking and there's no way we'll bounce a T-30 shell even if we do have that T-54 armour. Now. This game's been pretty boring so far, obviously. Only having picked up 500 uh, assistance, I think it is, 700 um, alpha damage, which, yeah, it's not particularly the best game you'll ever be seeing. Um, but that all changes in just a second, and you can see with the beginning of it, starting with this T71 DA. Uh, this is a tank that I love to be taking out in the game has that autoloader I believe, it's the better version of the two, I think you have the T71DA and then you have the um, T71DMCA, oh, I can't remember what it is, um, it's something like that, but basically two versions, one's an autoloader, one's a single shot and it's the autoloader that you kind of have to fear a little bit more, it's basically a light lichen if you've ever played that premium tank. Now I noticed that both the opponents um, Light tanks are over there, we try and put a shot in the vanguard but unfortunately we miss. Uh, two of the tanks over there looking like tasty treats if we can actually get over there and deal with the damage to them if we can ram them, uh, that would be very nice. We notice that the VKP is over there and we're still spotted so it's a little bit um, nasty if we do manage to get taken out within the game. But what we're doing now is just progressing, uh, just trying to keep the vision up for our teammates and if we can do that then I'm sure we can actually have a fantastic game in the end and uh, we can definitely uh, pick up some decent amount of damage as well. Uh, but of course you have to wait and see and although we did just get hit it appears the T30 doesn't have the 15 centimeter because we only lost 400 damage there which you know is best of a bad scenario because if he did have the 15 you know potentially we're getting ammo racked and luckily he didn't it's time to go after the general now that's not a tank you want to be in the line of fire so you see me going down to the dip whilst we're reloading it's time now to use the heaviness of this tank although we did take 50 damage um, it's better than taking a 300 damage shot from the general uh, which he would have put onto us or 240 i can't remember what it is now a target that you definitely want to be seeing is the iron rain and it's time to go in in off and here we go oh yes oh, oh yes that is what you want when you're playing in a ramming build the iron rain gets taken out from 1100 alpha damage in about one second after being rammed by the t54 lightweight we did take a little bit of damage and of course we did take the damage from the shot but it was worth it and it was fun um, and something that you kind of have to do in World of Tanks Modern Armour right now because if you don't make your own fun the game just tends to not be too fun in itself so there we go I mean we've picked up 5,000 combined uh, which is definitely a decent game in the T54 lightweight better than the first game that we had um, and it feels like it's been a little bit more um, rewarding as well because you know we've come in we've rammed that iron rain we've made a little bit of an impact and we've managed to kind of take control of the middle of the map and no one really could contest us 
As far as the rest of the game, however, we have two light tanks and a tank destroyer still left alive. Got to be a little bit careful because obviously we're one shot to every single tank in the game. T30 is there um, and that's not a tank we want to be getting hit by because even if we take one shot of damage, we're going to be um, definitely out of the game and if my team also take a shot they're going to get taken out and then we're going to lose the game potentially and that's of course something I don't want to do uh, we have the light tank on the enemy team have no idea where he is uh, but what we're doing now is just waiting for the T30 uh, to fire he does and now we can actually um, just put rounds into him he's had a little bit of a bad day and we've managed to track and pen him which is the perfect position when you're playing in the t54 and we're just locking him down constantly and that is his day over which is really really nice something you want to be thinking about when you're playing um, world of tanks is obviously aiming for that tracking shot as well as managing to get damage because you never know if you can track someone and your team are around you and if you've got a tank that has maybe 850 alpha damage like an e4 the overpowered e4 um yeah maybe just maybe you'll be able to get some assistance damage which will be nice as well other than that now we just have that pesky vanguard to be able to deal with within this game we've picked up 4200 damage 1684 assistance damage grand total 5800 really nice game uh, is it the best game you'll probably ever have in the T54 lightweight? Hell no, it's probably in the region of 7,000 uh, in terms of actual damage, that is. I uh, don't know if what the actual figures are, but I'm sure someone in the world has probably got 10,000 damage in this thing somehow. Um, but yeah, um, a tank that I really, really enjoyed. Now it's just time to hunt down that pesky Vanguard. Don't know where he is, uh, but hopefully, just hopefully we'll find him and then um, we can move on with the rest of the game. I don't know if he we're going to cap, not entirely sure, maybe we do, maybe we don't, I think in the end we actually do cap and so we'll probably end the video here. Um, we did cap, don't know where the vanguard went, maybe he was hiding but trying to chase him down when you're on 100 damage or hit points is not something you want to be doing. We came top of course with the 4200 damage that we did, two kills, managed to get 1600 uh, assistance and of course coming top high caliber and a 95% badge, 1500 base XP, made a little bit of money with premium and yeah definitely a really really good game a fantastic tank that i can only implore you to actually get your hands on the entire tank line is really really fun you've got the mt25 you've then got the ltg which is the kind of runt of the litter then you've got the lttb which is really really good uh, then you of course you have the t54 lightweight and then when you get to tier 10 quite possibly the best tier 10 traditional light tank the T100 OT. Uh, yeah, certainly a really good tank line. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in watching some more gameplay videos like this where we have some fantastic games and try out new novel setups, there will be a video on the screen right now. So if you're interested in that, I hope to see you in that video. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one that I produce. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.